Hey everyone, it's Chris. From volcanoes that have caused a major famine to a hurricane that has lasted a month, join me as I tell you about nine of the most dangerous natural phenomena. Number nine, wildfires. Fire is an elemental force that is part of life, and there have been many who have accidentally started a catastrophic fire because they weren't careful. However, there are plenty of ways that a fire can start naturally in the world, and the results can be just as deadly. Not the least of which is a lightning strike to the ground of a grass or forest area. Another one that can't be ignored is simply the sun roasting an area in such a way that fires start after a certain amount of heat hits an object. As recent years in USA history can attest to, wildfires are some of the most dangerous things around. If they're not contained quickly and methodically, they spread with such intensity and ferocity that whole forests and towns can be destroyed in a large percentage of their territory. The state of California has had the dubious honor of being hit with many wildfires over the past decade, and it's all because the sun heated up a dried out area, causing the fire to start. But in 2020, the biggest story was that Australia was set ablaze via the outback catching fire, destroying numerous habitats and forcing the citizens of the world to come together to save the people and animals that were in the area. The recovery of that wildfire continues to this day. One piece of good news is that about 85% of the millions of fires have been proven to be caused by humans. So if you realize some of these could be avoided, we just need to be more aware of what our behavior can cause. Don't you think? Number eight, blizzards. Blizzards are one of those natural disasters that can only happen in a particular season. But don't let that lull you into a false sense of security, as they can be a very dangerous thing for many reasons. The definition of a blizzard takes into account not only heavy snow, but also the wind that helps transport it, which must be equal to or greater than 35 miles per hour. So you're wondering what the danger is in this. While snow falling lightly can be driven through or walked through without much issue, when wind picks up, it generates low visibility, where you can't see anything more than just kind of a cloud. Another major danger in a blizzard is that because of the cold temperatures, the snow will not just build up, but also it'll have the snow become ice, turning all the roads in the area affected into a potential death trap. Heavy snowstorms are a major cause of vehicle accidents, so while it may be a seasonal phenomenon, it's one that is feared when the season arrives, because while many want snow, few want a blizzard. So have you ever seen a blizzard? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Rogue Waves Rogue waves are massive walls of water that come out of nowhere to crash against boats and ships, with such terrible impact that many have been sunk because of them. That alone would make them a deadly phenomenon to deal with. But there's a catch when it comes to rogue waves. Because while many captains and crew can see regular waves coming, they usually never see a rogue wave coming, because there's no way to know when they'll form. So much so that there are various and numerous explanations for how rogue waves come to be, and why they're so ferocious. Despite these theories and explanations, no credible answer has been found yet. If you're curious how a wave, even a blindsiding one, can be so effective and destructive that it's to be feared, the answer is simple. These waves can reach 50 to 60 feet in height. That means that they can easily cover the entire height of a fishing vessel, including the captain's cabin, which is higher up than the deck. On the show Deadliest Catch, the captains frequently have to look out for rogue waves because they can blindside their ships and cause them all sorts of problems, and many crewmen have been injured by rogue waves during the series. Some have even been shown to hit with such intensity to break windows, knock out power systems, and in one case flood an air vent and cause water to reach into the crew quarters. Number 6. Lightning Storms Thunder and lightning by its very nature are meant to be frightening, but the true terror in them goes beyond a nursery rhyme and delves into the raw power these electric volts can produce. It's believed that a single lightning bolt can have 1 billion volts within it. To show how impressive that is, there's no device on Earth that is currently able to provide that kind of power. Not even close. And that's not our personal belief, but rather a word from those who have tried to emulate that power. So if one lightning bolt is frightening, imagine being caught in a lightning storm. 
This is not the same as a thunderstorm, though. There have been plenty of thunderstorms that never have lightning. A true lightning storm is when lightning touches down so frequently that anyone in the area is advised to find shelter, else be struck. Many people have died from lightning storms, and those who have been saved have suffered a loss of memory, dizziness, weakness, among others that permanently alter a person's daily life. If one day you find yourself trapped in a storm of this nature, take shelter and try not to have with you objects that can attract lightning, and that includes anything metallic. Number 5. Volcanoes Volcanoes are both destructive and constructive at the same time, because while they do destroy things with lava, ash, smoke, and more, they also make islands, including many that are full of people today. Some islands are actually volcanoes that went dormant, and thus allowed the now native residents of the island to reside there. Even those on the islands of this nature understand that should something go wrong and it erupts again, they're all in deep trouble. Just the initial eruption of a volcano can send rocks, smoke, and lava into the air to be rained down from above. Then once the lava breaches the top of the volcano, it'll pour down to the base of the mountain until it eventually evens out or cools off. Lava can be 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, and that means it can melt just about anything it touches near instantly, including, of course, us human beings. It was a volcano that took out Pompeii, and many fear that volcanoes like the ones in Yellowstone or Montana via Mount St. Helens might erupt again and could cause untold devastation. Adding on top of all of that, there are plenty of submarine volcanoes that are on the ocean floor and waiting to erupt in their way. Did you know that one of the worst famines of the 19th century was caused by the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815? Thanks to this, there were climactic anomalies that affected crops, and livestock died in much of the northern hemisphere. Number 4. Floods On the surface, floods may not seem like the most dangerous of phenomena. And yet, they are ones that can happen very frequently with very little triggers, or they can be the byproduct of another natural disaster and linger as the main disaster has long since passed. Humanity has done a wonderful job of figuring out how to limit the effects of flooding. Ditches, drains, and certain other preventable measures such as aqueducts and various other safeguards to ensure that floods can't happen on a certain scale. The problem, though, is that there are vast areas all over the world who don't have those kinds of protections. Now, the picture of a flood in your mind might focus on cities that have an overflow in a river or a lake that caused it. But that's hardly the only way to have a flood. In smaller areas with less protection, the ground itself can be saturated beyond its carrying capacity and thus flood onto the streets. Flooding is a serious issue, and it can cause a lot of damage to houses all over when severe enough. Not to mention it can make traveling near impossible in some areas. Floods have been known to get so bad that they can rise to the level of roofs on houses, if not submerge them completely. During hurricanes, flooding is one of the biggest lasting effects of the storm, such as during the hurricane that hit Houston and flooded certain areas where you could literally ride boats in the streets. And then even more recent events like the floods in Bangladesh show that flooding may be one of the worst kinds of natural phenomenon ever. Number 3. Earthquake Anytime a person feels the earth shake in an unnatural manner, their minds immediately race to earthquakes. Earthquakes are caused most times because of shifts in the tectonic plates that make up the continents of our world, usually via a fault line where the two plates connect. The plates shift and jive and then collide with one another. The intensity of the earthquake is oftentimes dependent on how much the plates shift and move. One of the ironies of this disaster is that earthquakes happen more than you think as the plates and fault lines are honestly moving quite a bit all the time. So why aren't people constantly afraid of them? Well, because the intensity of the earthquake could be so small that it doesn't even shake the ground. But other times it'll move entire cities and even countries. Earthquakes are powerful enough to cause tsunamis, bring down buildings, and cause all sorts of damage to areas that are affected by them. In fact, whole new building codes were done in some countries to try and limit the damage to an earthquake. This is really scary. Have you ever felt an earthquake in person? How strong was that one? Tell me in the comments below. I'll be reading for your experiences. Number 2. Tornadoes Arguably the most well-known natural phenomenon ever, a tornado is defined as a rotating column of air that forms via a cumulominous cloud and then touches down on the ground. When it does this, the wind picks up the ground and the dirt, and that gives it its form. 
What makes the tornado so dangerous is its wind speeds mixed with the debris it's carrying inside of it. It's a true one-two punch of destruction. The real danger, though, of tornadoes is their size, which is why the Fujita scale rates them from an F0 to an F5, depending on how wide they are. An F5 tornado can be over a mile long, and that size with the power of its winds, and an F5 can have winds over 300 miles per hour, and you've got a moving column of destruction. Tornadoes have been known to wipe out whole towns in the blink of an eye, as their winds will just rip everything to shreds. But to show its adaptability, tornadoes have both a fire form via fire whirls and a water form via water spouts. Water spouts can cause havoc on the water, and then they'll make it to land and they'll easily transition into pure tornadoes. Number 1. Hurricane Hurricanes are by and large something that whole nations fear. Because while they usually come in certain seasons and weather patterns, and though we can detect them when they're forming, there's very little one can do to truly prepare for the destruction that's coming. Hurricanes form over the ocean, and they can be massive in width, many miles long in fact. The incredible wind power mixes with the waters of the ocean to create a wall of force that barrels towards the land. And when they hit, they seem like a regular storm at first, but the intense winds, which like tornadoes can reach upwards of 300 miles per hour at times, propel water and debris they're slinging around, and it can cause devastation on a massive scale. Examples of this include Hurricane Katrina, which nearly wiped New Orleans off the map. Or in 2017, when Hurricane Harvey nearly flooded all of Houston, Texas, causing untold amounts of destruction and harm to its citizens. On coasts that are near heavy hurricane activity areas, there's a natural warning for when they're approaching. And the best advice that is given is to board up your homes and evacuate the area until the hurricane dies out. A typical hurricane can last between 12 and 14 hours. But there is always an exception to that rule. Did you know that in 1994, Hurricane John lasted for about a month? That's incredible and terrifying, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Remember to let me know which of these natural phenomenon you've seen up close in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see, and then we'll make more of them. See you next time.